Hey everybody, it's me, Stu Helm, the Food Fan, and I am here at Food Fan Headquarters with another exciting segment for you to tell you all about some food that I ate, of course. What else do I talk about? Occasionally talk about politics, but only on Twitter. So follow me there if you'd like. And, and not only on Twitter, I talk about it elsewhere, but mostly on Twitter. Here, I talk about food, so let's do that. And I took a little road trip out to Woodfin with my friend Rick Krilia, whom some of you might remember I did the Wing Thing podcast with for a little bit during 2021, the pandemic year when we were all stuck at home, one of the two pandemic years when we were stuck at home. And I know, I know the pandemic is still happening. I have not forgotten. And I know that case numbers fluctuate and there's new variants and uh, the whole thing is such a drag but anyways let's not talk about that let's talk about some delicious baked goods i got because i really enjoyed them and i want you to enjoy them too and it's a place i had never been to and maybe you've never been there either it is out there in Woodfin, um, and it's on weaverville road at 175 weaverville road and it's called Dogwood Cottage Bakery. And they kindly extended an invitation to me to come visit the bakery and try an assortment of their goods on them. And I took them up on that and I scared up a ride with my good friend Rick, who's always game for a little what we call adventure dining. And, uh, or is that what we call it? Yeah, that's what we call it. <laughs> I don't even know what I call things. Um, so Rick and I, we uh, bundled up the, well, it was warm out. We just got in the truck and we went out there and it was a little hard to find. It's in a little funny little strip mall. One of those ones that's just like real simple, you know, and there's a taqueria there and I have a comic book store and maybe a hair salon. Not sure about that last one, but then there is the dogwood bakery dogwood cottage bakery and um they had a box ready for me and i also wanted to eat a box ready to go with some stuff in it and i also wanted to eat some stuff there so i purchased a few things i always like i know that they invited me and they just want to give it to and they gave me a bunch of stuff but i do like to spend a little money as well just to be nice about it, you know? And so I bought a few things and I bought something to eat there, something for Rick. And then just because of confusion, Rick bought me a cup of coffee. And I also bought a couple of extra Danish to bring home, even though they gave me some Danish. And that, let me go over what they gave me. They gave me some cheese and fruit Danish. One of them was apricot. One of them was raspberry. I believe. And then I had two kinds of turnovers, a ham and cheese turnover that I ate right then and there. And Rick had the same and they were delicious. Like I really, really liked it. It was really good. It was ham and cheese things. Like if it's a ham and cheese croissant or a ham and cheese turnover, it's going to be heated up and it's going to release all this oil from the cheese and from the laminated pastry and from the uh, ham itself, you know, going to release some grease or whatever. And so it tends to be a heavy, greasy pastry, but yeah, that's what I'm up for when I'm having one of those. And so I really enjoyed that. And the coffee was really good too. And we just sat at a little table that was right on the sidewalk in front. There's no real indoor seating area. And there was only one, maybe two tables out front. So it's, it's mostly a place where you'd be picking stuff up to go. And, but Rick and I sat at one of the little tables and we both enjoyed that cheese and ham turnover and then later on at home they they had put a, or i had purchased actually to bring home a ramp tur turnover it had ramps inside and i guess it's ramp season it's always it surprises me when it's ramp season i never know but i guess it's ramp season and uh so there was ramps in the this thing and i and some other stuff i'm not sure what sorry and i ate i cut it in half i ate one half thinking I'll save the other half for later. No, it was too delicious. I heated up the other half immediately afterwards and ate that too. And I'm going to guess that that might be 
uh, an item that's not going to be around forever, if it's even still around right now, because ramp season is pretty short. So get on that one, the ramp turnover at the Dogwood Cottage Bakery. And then uh, the uh, there was a scone involved. They put a scone in the box for me, and I like scones a lot. I don't like really super sweet scones. Like, here's a chocolate chip scone with a bunch of frosting on top of it and chocolate sprinkles all over it and whipped cream on top and cotton candy and, and some hard rock candy and Hershey's Kiss. I don't know. Now I've gone way too far. But you know what I'm saying. People sweeten that stuff up and that's not what a scone is. Like eat a piece of cake if that's what you want. But and so all of that to say that these scones were not like that at all. They were delicious. They had some berries in them, some blueberries, and they were moist, but had a nice sort of crispy crust on the outside, if you could even call it a crust. They were just, they had a nice hard outside, and I guess hard is not like a nice word to use around pastries, but it was, it just had a nice crunch to the outside, and then was very moist and very good inside and so really high scores for this scone in my opinion and there was a morning bud and my mom asked me today what my favorite thing in the whole box was and it was all so good it was hard to choose except for that it wasn't that hard to choose because the morning bun was so good and I just really like a good morning bun and if you don't know what that is go ahead and look it up make sure you get it right I'm just going to describe it the way I would describe it which doesn't mean that that's technically what it is but it is a very sort of dense and small um, bun that is shaped kind of like a cupcake in a way and is made of dough that's kind of wrapped elegantly into this shape and has butter and sugar and cinnamon inside and then has a sprinkling of sugar on top. Uh, and then it's baked off and the top gets kind of a hard crust to it. And a good morning bun is not too sweet and is actually kind of filling because that's the whole point. You're eating it in the morning with your coffee you don't have time or you just don't feel like eating a big breakfast. So you're having this, but it's got to have some heft to it, but it can't be too much like mass. So it's got to have density, but not mass. And a morning, a good morning bun should do that. And this one did. I'm sorry. I got kind of Mr. Science on you there. And that's not really my uh, area of expertise. And then finally, I just want to say there was an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. It was real good. It was like about as thick as uh, a, a half of a hockey puck, let me say, about the size of, of circumference and about as thick as a circumference of a hockey puck and it was half as thick. And it was not at all the consistency of a hockey puck. It was quite crumbly and doughy at the same time, had a high sugar content like it had a very sort of cookie dough quality to it. And it was very sweet. And although I enjoyed it and I ate the you know what out of it, uh, I, it, I, it could have been a little less sweet for me, but that doesn't mean it wasn't just right for you. So go try this. And Rick got one too. And he really enjoyed it from what I remember. And so it wasn't too sweet for Rick from what I recall. And then finally, they gave me a large, big uh, loaf of their sourdough bread, which I guess is their sort of signature item. And it was really, really good, like really hearty. And the crust is epic on this thing. And the whole thing is just very, very good. So um, yeah, I really enjoyed this excursion out there. It was great to spend some time with Rick. It was great to visit the shop. It's tiny, you know, like don't go in with expectations to like hook up to Wi-Fi and start surfing the internet while you sip on a latte all day. You're going to go in and get your stuff to bring back home pretty much or bring elsewhere. After we ate, Rick and I went to a brewery that I cannot remember the name of down there on the river. I'm sorry, I'm not as tuned into the breweries as I should be. 
Jeez, uh, it was Xylico, Zircon, something like that. Somebody correct me. I don't know. Somebody will have Xylico? No, it couldn't be. Um, I don't know what this brewery was, but Rick raved about it. Like, he thinks they have some of the best in specific lighter beers. He was drinking some Kraft Pilsner, which I remember when there was, you really couldn't find Kraft Pilsner. Not Nashville, anyways. Um, but yeah, so he was raving about that, and there was a there was a very cute little cat that came and hung out with me, and I thought that was kind of charming that the brewery had a cat. And I wish Zilcoa. Whoa! It just came to me. That's what it's called, Zilcoa. So y'all go to Zilcoa to get a nice pilsner, and but but before you go, stop by the Dogwood Cottage bakery and get yourself a box of baked goods and especially that morning bun that morning roll thing so good all right everybody thanks for listening i'll talk to you again real soon bye